Hi everyone. So today I have this amazing platform with me and this platform I have been working with Axon Lab to create this because I found there were some kind of drawbacks in the current AI image galleries that I generally use. So this is the one that I'm talking about. It is Pictionary. I have been working with Axon Lab and some other authors to bring it to life and now I would like to share it with you all. So basically all the images that you see are curated by us so currently we do not have the feature uh, feature for like random people to upload but in future maybe but also these images would be in some kind verified i and some of my friends and my fellow authors who are image ai image artists they have been uploading images on this and there are different types of images that you can find here so one format is like you can see that you can click on it you would see multiple images that are generated from that prompt you can copy the prompt from here you can see the reference Im image if it was used you can see the model the author and the aspect ratio so one type of format is this the second format that are present and i find it is very much helpful is the process timeline so here you can see a lot of images that are created with AI are not made with a single prompt. There is a process. You take two reference images, you provide a prompt, create something, then modify it and then you reach to the final output, right? So that is what we are calling it here as process timelines. So here you can see I use these two pictures. This is of the Vecna and then I use the prompt to create this. This is the output of that first step. And now I wanted to change the color grading. So when I wanted to change the color grading, I would use the output from the first step that I did as an input. And there is this another input. And then I am using this particular prompt, copy the color grading from image two to image one without changing or altering anything in image one. And then I get this. So as you can see, there were multiple steps. There can be 10, 12 or 13 steps as well. You can see it in the process timeline. So in this way, you know exactly what you need to do. And similarly here, you can also see this is also very similar. This is a scene from a movie. We have replaced the male character here. There is this prompt which gives us this particular image. And then I have used this image just to copy the color grading. I wanted something extreme to show how this works. And here you can see the image gra color grading has completely been changed. So this is process timeline and I think it is very helpful when someone is trying to replicate a certain output that cannot be generated with one single prompt. Other than that, you can see there are many images which have multiple outputs from a single image and I have provided these. These are like shuffling and you can see all of them. You'll get to see mainly realistic style images because we are focusing on that. We are not focusing on anime, cartoonish or posters and stuff like that. We are mainly looking into photography, cinematography and how you can create such scenes. So if you are looking for something very realistic, that can also be a professional shoot or that can also be selfie like things. So for example, if you look at this image, so this looks like a very amateur selfie, but it looks very, very real. So this is the kind of images that we are going for on this particular platform. Another thing that I generally saw was missing on a lot of platforms was that if I like this particular image, and then I scroll, it is lost. I want to compare it with an image that is maybe here, right? So what you can do is you can just use this particular button here, pin it down. You can see it has been pinned to a dock. Now, if I want to compare it with this image, I pin it and I can keep on scrolling and these are pinned. So these are like bookmarks on this platform. So here you can see I can open this or I can open this and I can pin a lot of different images down there and keep on scrolling. So these are not lost and I can open it anytime that I want. So if I want to compare this and I want to compare this one, so you can see I can do it and I can keep on scrolling. And if you want to remove them, it is pretty easy. You can just undock them from here or what you can do is click here and it would get undocked. So these are the features 
other than that you can search so for example if i search for superman you can see the image would be here right so this is another feature now when you open this particular platform by default it would be set on popular so how popular works is that these images the ones that are getting most interactions that are popular right now so it is giving a score on the number of interactions that users are having currently and now it gets a score and that is how it is getting ordered here right now if i want i can also change it to latest and latest is the most recent images that have been added to this particular platform so this was the last image added till now then this then this this is how it is working so if you want you can select any of these and even if you refresh so for example if i reload this you can see it remembers your particular selection so if it is the latest that you are going for you will always see latest images so this selection is persistent other than that you will get all the models so for example if i select c dream 4 4k so you can see these images were created with c dream and there are two ways so basically if you want you can select all models to come back to this page or if you select a certain ratio so let me select one ratio one and these are two images and let's say uh, google nano banana pro so this is the image that filters by this both and now if i want i can directly reset it so by reset it would go back to all models and all ratios so currently this platform is very new and we are trying to add as much images as possible and soon enough we'll have a lot of different images and we are planning a lot of different things like uh, giving an option for the users to sign in and save the collections maybe upload because we are, there would also be a verification process because for now we want that very high quality images come to this platform this is for that purpose so generally if we allow people to sign up there can be a lot of random images as well so currently we are finding a way how we can filter it out so very high quality images can be uploaded by the users but once it has been done so i am pretty sure it would help you a lot and we are also thinking of adding different filters like food etc let me know in the comments below whether you would like it to be just a platform having realistic uh, ai images or would you want it to expand to ai anime cartoon posters or sketch stuff like that would you want it to be like that diverse or you feel like this platform can mainly cater to the people or the artists who want very realistic images share your thoughts in the comment section below and i'll try to reply as soon as possible thank you